original idea is we, I, I got this boy on a tricycle, which I got running around the place, and people look at this, and the first reaction that they see is, oh, there's a child on a There's something wrong with this kid. Will it be life or living death? <laughs>the Maker Fair. This is Boing Boing TV and I'm Mark Fraunfelder and I'm here with Dan O'Connell. And Dan, tell me about this uh, little boy here. The original idea is we, I, I got this boy on a tricycle which I got running around the place and people look at this and the first reaction that they see is, oh, there's a child on a tricycle. Uh, and then in, almost immediately after they realize there's something wrong with, something wrong with this kid. And it takes however long to figure out this is just a machine that's wandering around the place and, you know, sort of disconcerting them a little bit. What's happened now, of course, I've broken a few of the bits and pieces. But in any case, a lot of people, let's say like yourselves, are coming around inquiring about the guts of this and how it was put together and, and so on. Tell me how it was put together. Well, there's a couple of, uh, actually several weird things. Uh, starting from the back, I've got uh, drill motors that are underneath here. Um, that I've, I've pulled out from cordless drills. The wires run up here, so it's a little more discreet. And in here, some of the control stuff and so on. This is just a remote uh, receiver. What happens is there's a motor here for the steering, and it comes up through a spring-loaded clutch, and that connects onto this, which moves the arms in this manner. And so you get this forward and backward thing, and the forward and backward thing, of course, moves the the steering in this way. The legs do nothing except follow the pedals. And I did it that way so that as it turns, there's a kind of a natural uh, relationship between the feet and the pedal. Now the head uh, came about uh, as a kind of a frustrated last response to trying to make something in clay. If you take a look at my website, there is an original clay head. I cast the original clay head in plaster and ripped the plaster apart and wrecked the original and a few other frustrating problems and then I walked into a junk store and found these hairdresser mannequins. So I said, well, that's the end of that problem. <laughs> now, of course, for every problem that's solved, there's a problem which is created. Uh, since this is a hairdresser mannequin, it had eyeshadow and such. At that stage, once more sort of serendipity hit, I walk into uh, what I call Wally Mart, and there are these Google glasses here, this sort of thing, staring at me for a dollar. Of course, I, I buy the glasses and I stick them on, <laughs> and that's the other problem solved. Now, the, the, the trouble with this thing is that a lot of people look at me and they look at this and they say, well, there's an uncanny resemblance here. <laughs> Maybe it was subconscious or something, I don't know. <laughs>